Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice equation. We have 2 square root of x minus 14 is equal to 288 divided by square root of x. And we have to find the value of x. And as always, pause the video and try first. And if you're new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this square root of x through. So we have 2 square root of x squared minus 14 square root of x is equal to 288 over square root of x times square root of x. And straight away this square will cancel this square root. Now we have 2x minus 14 square root of x is equal to then this one will also cancel this, so we have 288 over here. Now equating everything to 0, we have 2x minus 14 square root of x minus 288 is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and then divide through by 2, so we have x minus 7 square root of x minus 144 is equal to 0. Alright, now from here, I'm going to say let y equals square root of x. And this implies that x is equal to y squared. Okay, so this equation becomes y squared minus 7y minus 144 is equal to 0. So at this point, we look for two values that when you multiply them, you'll be getting negative 144. But when you sum them up, you'll be getting negative 7. And the numbers are negative 16 and then positive 9. Okay, so this equation becomes y to the second power plus 9y minus 16y minus 144 is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and then factorize this equation. So we have y into y plus 9. Then we have negative 16 over here. Then we have y plus 9. And this is equal to 0. So we have y minus 16 as one of the factors. Then we also have y plus 9 as the other factor. And this is equal to 0. So at this point, we can say that y minus 16 is equal to 0 or y plus 9 is equal to 0. Now making y the subject from this equation, we have y to be 16 or from this side, we have y to be negative 9. But don't forget that x is equal to y squared, okay? So when y is equal to 16, we have x to be 16 squared, and 16 squared is 2, 5, 6, okay? And then when y is equal to negative 9, x is equal to negative 9 squared, and this is equal to 81, okay? So in all, x is equal to 2, 5, 6, or x is equal to 81. Now let's go ahead and then plug these values into the original equation, which is 2 square root of x minus 14 equals 288 over square root of x. Okay, so when x is equal to 2, 5, 6, we have 2 square root of 2, 5, 6 minus 14 is equal to 288 over square root of 256. Now simplifying this, we have 2 into square root of 256 is 16, then minus 14 over here, and this is equal to 288 over 16. 2 times 16 is 32 minus 14, and this is equal to 288 divided by 16 is 18. Then 32 minus 14 is also 18. So you can see that 
the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So we can say that x equals 2, 5, 6 is a solution to this problem. Okay. Now let's test for x equals 81. So when x is equal to 81, we have 2 square root of 81 minus 14 is equal to 288 over square root of 81. Okay. So here we have 2 into 9 minus 14 is equal to 288 divided by 9. 2 times 9 is nothing but 18, then minus 14, and this is equal to 288 divided by 9 is 32. 18 minus 14 is 4, and this is equal to 32. And you can see that 4 is never equal to 32, so this means that x is never equal to 81. So this is our final answer. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.